baseball's got to figure out we can't just allow managers to tell umpires to check a pitcher whenever the hell they want. They can't be trusted. They can't be trusted. Joe Girardi saying last night, hey, I've been around, uh, I've been around Max Scherzer for years now. I've never seen him go to his hair before. Well, he's going to his hair because he doesn't have any moisture to mix with the rosin. And a former catcher should know that. But hey, this day and age, maybe Max Scherzer, after being checked twice, is going to be dumb enough to try something now. (laughs) Figuring they're not going to check him a third time, so I'm going to stop it right now. And the home plate umpires and the, the the home plate umpire is going to get his crew around and say, "Okay, let's stop the play right now. Let's stop the play right now and check him for a third time." Instead of looking at Girardi, say, "We've already checked him twice. Joe, go back to your dugout. We'll check him after this inning one more time because you've asked." But right now, go back. There's a man on. There's only one out. This game's tight. No, nope, they stopped him. And then Girardi sitting there is like suddenly shocked that Scherzer's going to stare him down. <laughs> Wants to fight him. And then, well, I mean, he doesn't want to fight. John Boy is a must follow. That's why we've had him on this show. He he broke it down and pointed out that Girardi, when he left the dugout and started barking in the direction of the Nationals, which caused him to be ejected, he was barking at Nationals coach Kevin Long, who used to be on his bench with the Yankees. Oh. And long because John Boy is one of the best lip readers in the history of lips and reading. <laughs> Point, you know, made it clear that Long was profanely calling out Joe, and Joe could even be heard referring to K Long as he's coming out. He was not going after Max Scherzer. Yeah, the clip that went viral last night made it look like no. Girardi wanted to fight Scherzer. That's not what he was doing. But you've got to understand, people are going to call you names and say "f you." If you're going to stop the game in the middle of an inning. And and that's not what this is for either. So baseball's got it. It just took two days for us to sit here and say, all right, it's gamesmanship. That's what even Costas called it. This is not gamesmanship. It should just be, we want to make sure people aren't using dumbass spider tack or anything like it. So the general manager of the, Philly, of the uh, Nationals, Mike Rizzo has chimed in. This was on uh, the Sports Junkies, the famed Sports Junkies of the Mid-Atlantic area. 106.7 The Fan. This was earlier Tuesday. It's embarrassing for Girardi. It's embarrassing for the Phillies. It's embarrassing for baseball. Yes, he's playing games. And you think you're going to intimidate a Max Scherzer and it's just not going to happen. You're just going to piss him off. That was his goal. Uh, he's a con artist. He, 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 he got you He got you in, a, in the con. So uh, that's just the way, that's the way it is. Call him a con artist. It's a con artist. And he said that Wednesday, not Tuesday. I botched the day, obviously. This happened Tuesday night, and he said this Wednesday morning. Called him a con artist. General managers calling a manager con artist. Manager coming out of the dugout, calling out another coach who's profanely screaming at him because we're checking uh, future uh, uh, Hall of Famers for this stuff. Just find out a substance for crying out loud. Everyone's smart enough. At some point, the, they're, they're talking about a spell our name right public relations strategy is not what anybody wants. Certainly when pitchers are dropping their pants. Come on, dropping their pants. <laughs> like that's what Max Pack and the Clown Prince is supposed to be <laughs> yeah, doing, right, not right. actual players. You know right. what I mean? Like, come on. They're dropping pants and throwing hats at umpires and taking off belts and whipping it around. I mean, what the hell? Come up with a substance. Sit down with the pit. Like Scherzer is, is, is on the... What, the executive subcommittee of, uh, uh, and, and so is Andrew Miller. Two pitchers, reliever, lefty, and hard throwing starter, righty. You got a lefty and a righty. Sit them down. Go, well, sit them down with Tory. Manfred doesn't have to be there. Somebody else, sit them down. Figure this out. Baseball figure minds, it out. figure it out. What is it? Sunscreen and rosin and whatever. Like, what do you need that's not industrial strength? What do you need? What is it? Let's put it. Can you put it in a bottle? Is it like a, 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 is it like a deodorant stick type thing? Is that what it can be that you can rub it on your hands? Is it liquid? What is it? Is it a gel? Can you spray it on there? Can you put it next to the rosin bag? Is it, is it something other than the rosin bag? What is it? Figure it out. And stop this craziness. Jeff in Detroit's been hanging on for a while. What's up, Jeff? What's going on? Let me get on. Let me uh, get off speakerphone. Hey, uh, listen, I'm 
the one thing that I know to be true is exactly what Scherzer said during the press conference. It'll be horrible for somebody to get hit with that ball because it's out of control. Me, I used to work at a Tiger Stadium for the Detroit Police Department. And one day I just happened to be coming out of the dugout when Randy Johnson, of all people, was warming up. Now, I'm usually looking at the crowd. So mm-hmm. I got my back to the crowd, and a guy yells, whoa, 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 hold up, look out. It was one of the pitchers. I turn around. Randy Johnson is warming up, and I mean, he's just warming up. And I can tell you for a fact, it's not what somebody told me. When you see them throw that ball in person, it's the most amazing thing, but it's frightening when it's that close to your face. To get hit with something like that is just is ridiculous. And my thing is they don't want them to have that much control over it or what, ma'am. It's, it's ridiculous. Like you said, they need to sit down, get in a room, get it together yeah. because somebody is going to get hurt. It's Dangerous. Well, um, somebody like Glasnow, and thanks for the call, Jeff. Someone like Glasnow said he has a, he has been hurt already. You know, Scherzer said the ball that went towards Alex uh, Alec Boehm uh, slipped out of his hand. That's what he said. You know what I mean? And nobody wants to get hurt, but also we don't need this. is unnecessary. It really is unnecessary to let it get to this point. It became necessary to have to check the guys. And tell him to knock it off. Remember we were talking about, this is crazy. This is nuts. We were, just go to our YouTube page, youtube.com slash Rich Eisen Show. When was John Boy on here last time? Chris, was it three weeks ago? Was it a month ago? His most recent Yes, please, because okay. we had him on to yeah. talk about what was going on with the baseballs and the substances being put on the baseballs. And he said, nobody's talking about it because nobody wants to have anybody caught in a scandal like literally this caught fire in uh, june 2nd june 2nd we're not even a month ago when he came on he's just like we're talking about it you know appreciate you you know he was texting me you know that that he he was glad to come on and talk about it because nobody's talking about it now it's all anything is talking about this escalated quickly to use the ron burgundy (laughs) phrase and now, again, like I even tweeted out last night as I saw Garrett Cole getting checked and I saw Scherzer getting checked the first time. I'm like, you know what? I have no problem with them checking these guys as much as they do. It was brought on by pitchers and pitching staffs and pitching coaches and managers who look the other way. Right? It got out of hand. It got out of, out of hand and something had to be done. And now they're all saying, Cole's saying it and Scherzer's saying it. Like, absolutely, let's get spider tack out of it. Now we're finally actually saying those words. Now that we finally got to this point that it's finally gotten the attention of people who are using this garbage, let's get in a room and figure out what's what's acceptable. And then we'll work on the shift. I'm serious, man. Then we'll work on that too. Let's see more balls in a gap. Let's see more let's see more singles to right field. Let's see more of that. Okay, let's see more of that. Let's get people on base and move things around. Not like third baseman making a great play in the hole at second base or in right field. Not what I'm paying to see. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.